Hey guys, how are you today? Relaxed? Did you watch some YouTube videos? Yeah, there was nothing interesting there. There was only this guy restoring his GT6 and rebuilding overdrives. Boring. There was another video that brought me to tears actually. Onion soup. Wow. I cried a lot. And you know what? Not from the onions. The guy didn't know what to do with half can of beer. Can you imagine? Oh my god, I cried like a babe. Yesterday I was looking for one of my pair of uh, safety goggles. Couldn't find them anywhere. Like 10 minutes. And sure enough, they showed up from somewhere. I don't even know from where, but they just showed up. So, where did we leave it here today? I think over there, right? We have to keep building the A post. Okay, now. I feel relaxed and now my hands are itchy for more work. Let's do it. Before we tuck this in place, of course, we're going to need to clean a little bit behind it. We have to uh, prime a little bit here and there, the areas that are not going to be reachable after we weld this in place. Also, I need to fix this little patch here. And um, I was thinking, remember I told you I was going to trim the floor and this piece at the same time, the bottom. But uh, actually, that's not going to be so easy like that. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to line up the seal again. Yeah, you see, it's a little bit too long. So I'm going to trim this to this height. And after that, I can just mark at the back, turn it around and cut. Then I'm going to clean here a little bit. I'm going to prime it and only then I'm gonna be able to install this part. I'm gonna remove also this uh, old cap. trim a lot so I might need to flatten a little bit higher this to okay, so I trimmed it a little bit here and there and now we have a straight line underneath so now I have to punch holes for the plug welds and here where the floor goes up, we need to match also make some holes here. So we need to guess where they are, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna weld it though before I patch this. I don't know why there is a hole here and here. But I think I'm just gonna delete it. Like yeah, I think that's better. Or what you're saying? Maybe the hole is there for a reason? Okay, I'll keep it then. Maybe it's gonna give me another 5 horsepower. Combined with the red color, that's gonna give me altogether like 15 horsepower more. Okay, let's punch some holes. So it's time to it's time to do some art, right? Let's paint everything that is gonna be covered and we're not gonna have access to it anymore. So 
some people were asking me about this paint. What do I use? Well, this is called Rust Guard and it comes from Word. This is the can. Oh, actually I can see now they, they changed the name of it. Now it's called Anti-Rust Coating Black. But it used to be uh, Rust Guard and it comes from Word. And it's a uh, nice paint, I like it. It doesn't need uh, primer or anything, you just coat the surfaces that you want to protect from rust and and it protects it supposedly. Let me paint here now that I'm into it. And I'll try to paint the floor here in between. Okay, now stop here because the rest is not cleaned yet. I need to clean it from the rust and then I'm going to paint it. You can also spray it if you want, but it needs to be diluted. So, okay, we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna move to something else. Okay, while well, this is drying, let's see here this corner. So, this corner, you see the inner seal needs some attention here. This also needs some attention here. This little corner, and let's go outside. And outside, um, this is where the strengthener piece ends, and this needs to be replaced too. And this, you see, this is the hole where I were on the inner seal. So I think I'm gonna cut this off, try to repair this little corner here that I showed you inside. When I cut this out, maybe I'm gonna cut a piece of the inner seal as well. I'm gonna repair that corner and then I'm gonna start putting them back in. That's my idea. Okay, this needs to be repaired too, so I'm just gonna cut it as well. Okay. This is getting serious. So this is the inner seal here, the hole that I want to repair and then we'll put this patch back on. Not this one, I'm gonna have to make another one. But we're just gonna cancel this hole, that's... Why would you need a hole here? Is there a particular reason for this hole? I don't think so. I thought we were done cutting the rust out, huh? Alright, come inside to see what I'm doing there. So I just removed this piece from the inner seal. Now I have to run it here. But there's a little bit of a little bit of pitting back here. So I wanna replace a corner like this. And there's a flange underneath that goes that way. Good, how about now? <laughs> there is a trick for everything. to grind this thing, because this is where the the flange of the inner seal steps now I feel like my dentist the other day when she was trying to fix one of my teeth she said she couldn't reach well now I feel like her I think it's time to use the second belt of the belt sander.
another four hours for 30 seconds. Yeah. Let's see how long is this one gonna last. which is similar to the one that we made yesterday for the other side and now it fits here well it was a little bit uh, too short so I had to extend the top so now it fits here and now I have to just cut around the holes because I want to keep the holes I, wanna, I don't want to mess with them so we're gonna have to go outside and mark it and then cut it. Okay, I'll go cut it. We're gonna weld it inside because it's gonna be easier to grind. Okay, so we're gonna go inside the wheel arch here and I'll show you what my idea for here is. Okay, so first this piece, if you remember it, from here has to come like that. Something like that. And now this is the piece of the fender that we cut off. It comes like this. So what we are missing here is a triangle piece that comes here and it has a flange this way and then it has a flange this way. So that's a very complicated piece for me to make and that's why I think I'm gonna make it in smaller sections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one here like that then I'm gonna do another one uh, a triangle, small triangle that goes that way and has a flange that's gonna be behind the piece that I just clamped there and then I'm gonna have to make another one that comes up to reproduce this flange here so that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start making them like that, right? Oops. Yeah. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take you out of there because you're too close and the other day you fell off the table. Now I don't wanna burn your eyes. So I'm gonna take you away and especially for this repair I'm gonna be showing you uh, some updates on at the different stages because I want to protect you, you are my precious. Okay, so now this is in 
place and I made this one which is gonna go like that need to bend it a little bit more here and there but it's gonna go like that somehow and that's gonna be the flange for this piece so I think I'm done here just now I have to weld this flange that goes this way and there is a cut here I don't know if you can see it but there is a cut which I made when I cut this line so I have to weld this but I'm gonna weld it from this side okay I'm talking about this cut here you see it so I'm gonna have to weld it from this side because I don't see a way to weld it from there or maybe I will try but if I weld it from this side I'll have to grind it very very well because this then as I need to have this mounted there here okay and this little flange is here already installed welded ground and we are ready with this side now we can not now but later we can just put the the missing piece of the fender and that's gonna be it so now if you see a hole here this is where this piece comes it goes something like that and I don't really see what I'm doing but you get the idea right this piece is covering that hole there so now we can go work on this side Okay, so this is the piece that we have to install here to finish this um, area. But to be honest, I was looking for excuse to come out of this because, I don't know, got sick and tired of this. I want to go back to the A post. And I just found the, ex uh, the excuse, actually. This piece is going there after the strengthener piece you see this piece overlaps the strengthener piece so i first need to install the strengthener piece but to install the strengthener piece i need to install the floor so i have a perfect excuse to come out of here so i'm just gonna clean it up i'm also gonna clean up the bottom of the flanges here for the floor because you see I still have pieces here to clean and I'm gonna clean inside the seal so I can paint it and I can paint everything here and then I'm gonna go back to the A post and once the A post is done I'm gonna do the strengthener piece and then from the after the strengthener piece I'm gonna have to fabricate something for here Can't go deeper than that. That should be fine. Okay, if you're wondering about this flower here, this is a hole where I have to weld a nut, but I don't know where I put it. There must be a nut underneath, I think it's for seat belts or something like that. But it was on the old piece and I removed it and I have to weld it there, but I don't know. And these holes are for plug welds. You know what guys? I think... Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day now. Seriously.
because uh, I just realized that I'm uh, considering intentionally to avoid critical work that is uh, very important for the alignment. For example, this floor, I was going to start welding it inside, even though I know that now in this situation I have to put the seal again with the door and make sure that this flange is in the right place because if this flange moves further in or further out that's going to affect the position of the seal too, right? And I know that and I thought of that and then I thought, okay, maybe it's in the right place, let's, let's just weld it. No, unacceptable. So, when this happens to me, it happens many times, uh, and then this is the point where I realize I'm tired and I need to go home, because I'm gonna skip through something which is which is critical. So yeah, it's uh, it's Sunday. It's uh, what? It's four o'clock, and I have a comment here from Peter Taylor saying, "What kind of cars are on the engine? Uh, which car is that? I don't know. We'll see when I get home. Uh, yeah, so." Four o'clock Sunday, I think it's time for beer. Or maybe some onion soup. Do you like onion soup, guys? It takes six hours to cook. I'm sorry, but I'm not cooking on onion soup. Chef, show us something quicker. You know what? I'm gonna give you an idea. Start showing us videos of things that you can cook in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And you don't need to wash the dishes up. Alright, I hope I'm gonna be able to show you more work on this car. I don't know how soon I'm gonna have to abandon it again, but hopefully it's not gonna be very soon, so I'm gonna try to do as much work as possible on it before I have to go back to some other project. And yeah, thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and thanks for commenting, and thanks for everything, guys. I love you. Bye.